A Des Moines family is calling for action after they say justice was not served in the death of their four year old boy. The suspect received a plea deal, which the family says isn't right. Only on KCCI, Alyssa Gomez sat down with the family who's on a mission to pass tougher child endangerment laws. This is the um, the blanket that they gave me in the hospital um, when I got to hold his little hand. Tammy Farrell remembers every detail of the last moment she shared with her grandson, Dean. Court records say the four-year-old died from blunt force injuries to the head while in the care of Austin Johnson in 2021. Not fair that um, he's alive and well and my grandson isn't. Johnson was charged in Dean's death, but Polk County attorneys offered him a plea deal. 10 years behind bars in restitution for Dean's family, in addition to 10 years for a separate child endangerment charge that left a five-month-old with brain bleeds. Dean's father feels justice has not been served. I don't see why a kid that's still alive compared to a kid that is gone now get the exact same sentencing time. Now Dean's family is calling for change. Tammy is asking for... Tougher laws. I talked to... Um, Senator Nate Bolton, who agrees that legislation needs to be put in place. These examples do highlight where there are potentially gaps in our criminal justice system that, that need to be reviewed. We reached out to the Polk County Attorney's Office to ask why a plea deal was offered. Attorney Kimberly Graham responded saying, quote, I agree that a 10 year prison sentence pales in comparison to the severity of the crime. The heartbreaking truth is this plea agreement was our best option to bring Austin Johnson to justice. Unfortunately, child abuse cases can often result in difficult and frustrating outcomes like this one. She adds, our hearts go out to the family of Dean Hunt. This situation is one where we can look at the circumstances to say, all right, where can the state step in to prevent this awful tragedy from happening to the next family. A chance to prevent further tragedy and a chance to maintain one final promise to Dean. That's the last thing I promised Dean when I kissed his little forehead when he was in his casket. <clears throat> Told him I was gonna get justice. In Des Moines, Alyssa Gomez, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And a five month old baby who suffered brain bleeds at the hands of Austin Johnson is slowly recovering. His mom tells KCCI that Waylon Stillwell has some permanent health issues, including weakness in his right side. But overall, he's doing well. Waylon's now 21 months old. His family says he enjoys playing with his older siblings who have helped him on his road to recovery.